person comes to your sixth demand, now listen to this, comes to your sixth demand, says, Mola, what huck does my brother have over me? Mola replies, he says, your brother has seven rights over you. If you don't fulfill all of these seven, Allah will chuck you out of our wilaya. So he looks up, he says, Mola, can you tell me? He says, better you remain ignorant because if I tell you the seven, I'm scared that you won't be able to do it. He insists, Mola gives them all seven. Now look, I'm not here to give all seven because I can guarantee you vast majority of you won't be able to do it. If you want, search it yourself. But I'll give you one. And if this one you can do, inshallah, slowly all of the others will open up. What is that one? This one, famously known as the golden rule. What you want for yourself, want for your brother. You know what that means? If you don't like people gossiping about you, don't gossip about somebody else. Be vigilant and careful. Perhaps the reason why we're all at home today is because when we come to the masjid, afterwards when we sit together, ilmirajal happens and you gossip to such an extent that you lose everything. You've come into the masjid to gain something. And what happened? Your fishara qabr increases when you die. See, this is what tawfiq is. Tawfiq is there. Don't lose that tawfiq. What you want for your brother. Don't cheat somebody if you don't want to be cheated. Don't look at somebody's spouse if you don't want anybody to look at your spouse. What does it mean? Do for other people that you want for yourself. That's one condition of wilaya. And if you don't have that condition, you're out of the wilaya. Look, you want people to give you a chance, give other people a chance. You want people to forgive you? Learn to forgive people. Digest this for tonight. Go home and change yourself. Come back slowly so we can change. It gives us all a chance, including myself. It gives us all a chance in this Muharram to change. And if you can even do this one thing, then I guarantee you that the whore is close. As Ayatollah Bahjad said, Bada takes place. Look, our time is running. I want to mention to you a final thing. Even if you've sinned, don't ever lose hope in Hussein. Don't ever lose hope in the Ahlul Bayt. Let me give you a story of Ayatullah Hassan Zada Amali. Allah give him a long life. He's sick at the moment. Sahib Karamat. And I say this because I've seen it myself. With my own two eyes, I've seen that he is Sahib Karamat. Very easily, he can read your Dhamir. Everything about you from the beginning to the end of your life. He can tell you everything. From my own experience. Sahib Karamat. Ayatollah Hassan Zada Amali always wanted one thing. He wanted to be one of the students of Sayyid Ali Qadhi. Though Ali Qadhi is dead, but remember one thing. A spiritual master as such, even after he dies, he's still connected to his students. So Ayatollah Hassan Zada Amali had a, student, had a teacher. That teacher's name was Ayatollah Hassan Elahi. You've heard of Allama Tabatabai. Allama Tabatabai's brother is known as Sayyid Muhammad Hassan Ilahi Tabatabai. If he's not more than Allama Tabatabai, he's nothing less than him. The only reason you hear very little about him is because he was somebody who hid himself in Tabriz. One day Ayatollah Hassan Zada Amali says, he says, I came home. In the morning he would go, he would teach, he would study. And then at the hard time he would come to sleep for about half an hour. When he came home at that stage, two of his children were fighting or playing, as children do. For whatever reason, that day he was, or he had a stressful day, he was stressed out. He says one thing to his children that broke their heart. Ayatollah Hassan Zada Amli says, and this is one thing of his, and imagine what we say on a daily basis. He tries to get to sleep, he can't get to sleep. Half an hour goes, he gets up, he says, look, I can't get to sleep. He realizes he said something that broke these children's heart. No fault of theirs. They're children after all. So he wants to go out. He goes, he buys sweets, brings it back. His heart doesn't help him. He knows that he's done something he didn't like. He says to his wife, look, three, four days, I want to leave Amul. I want to go somewhere. You know where he goes? He goes to Tabriz. Why? Because his teacher, Hassan Elahi, is there. When he comes to the door of Ayatollah Hassan Elahi, he says, I knocked on the door. Ayatollah Hassan Elahi came out. He says, what are you doing here? You should be in Amul. You should be back home. Why are you here for? 
He looks up and he sees Ayatollah Hassan Zada Amli's faces. You could tell by the faces stretched out. Before Ayatollah Hassan Zada could say anything, Hassan Allah, he says straight away to him, last night Gadi came to me. Gadi was dead, by the way, at this stage, 30 years ago. He said, Gadi came to me last night and said, you have done something that is repulsed by. Said Hassan, Sheikh Hassan says, Hassan Zada Amli says, he says that my face went peach red. He begins to cry. He says, yes. I said something to my children. He says, repent. Change. Even that small thing that you say to your family that breaks a heart, you're removed from the wilaya because they're Shia of Ahl Bayt. Be careful. Your wife, your husband. Sometimes we take it for granted. We say things to our children. We say things to our parents. We say things to our spouses. Be careful. You say things to a Shia. The minute you're Lehen becomes such that it's offensive and you break somebody's heart. Be very careful because at that moment you're out of the wilaya. And then you think to yourself, why don't I have ma'rif of Ahlul Bayt? It's not easy to have ma'rif of Ahlul Bayt. Hadith says in and of itself, Akhbar of Ali Muhammad is such, truly such. One day somebody comes to Imam Hussein, says, Mawla, tell us your haqqaiq. He says, you won't be able to take it. He says, please tell me. Imam begins to open his mouth to speak. The person's beard went white, his hair went white. Imam stopped. That person forgot everything. Imam said, may the mercy of Allah be on you that you forgot everything. You wouldn't be able to take it. Why? It requires something more. Heart needs to be pure. For your heart to be pure, remember. So you can ask me the question, what has wilaya got to do with the brother, your brothers? No. The entire Shia nation is like a body. Be very vigilant to your fellow Shia brother.